Now, speaking of drag race, you mentioned that your competition, you can have, uh, you know, drag kings, bio queens, sure. uh, the whole spectrum of drag. And there's been a lot of debate or, you know, more discussion because the show has never really commented on it about uh, the, in, the non seeming non inclusion of, uh, you know, uh, trans women, most importantly, but also bio, bio queens and drag kings. What's your thought about that and on their inclusion on Drag Race? Yeah, I think that um, the show should be constantly evolving. I think the show should constantly be reflecting the face of not just female impersonation, but the people that create the quilt of our community. And I think there is a place for that. And I think maybe there is this thought that, well, what if the category is gowns? How can we expect a drag king to wear a gown? Why can't that, why can't that challenge be formal wear? Why can't that challenge be, if, you know, why can't we make it, make it purposely more inclusive? Because if we're expecting to be included in quote unquote heteronormative lifestyle, why can't we show the same inclusion? Why are we shutting doors if we're expecting other people to leave the doors and windows wide open for us? I mean, we have, we're not even leaving the window a crack open and we're expecting no doors to exist for us. So we have to, you know, our, our community is, is built on diversity clearly. Um, there's, a, there's a place for it and it's our job to figure out how to make that accessible and possible for everyone. What do you think the holdup is with drag race, especially when it comes to trans queens? Um, this this might be an unpopular opinion, and uh, and that's okay because I I'm kind of built on unpopular opinions. Um, I think there is a fear. Um, when I first started doing drag, I worked at a club called Seven Nine Six Nine Peanuts, and yeah, a, a legendary. Very, legendary, a very famous trans bar. And I was one of the few drag queens along with Raja and a couple of other people who were allowed to be in the show that was largely trans performers. So with that said, um, people would come there and there would be admirers of trans performers, other trans people, cross dressers, um, quote unquote fringe people, uh, people who identified more queer than they did gay or, or, uh, or lesbian, you know, just edgier people. Um, for lack of a better term. Um, and there was a host and her name was Fabulous Phyllis. And Fabulous Phyllis was an older queen with wild fuzzy wigs and lots of pearls and short dresses and obviously a campy drag queen. And I remember learning from that, that was what broke the ice for people. That was what made people feel like oh, there's a connection here. There's some sort of, because people, we've all been built to believe that we have to be shocked by something. Oh, is, is, is that person this or is that person this? Well, I can clearly tell that this person is a drag queen. Mm. So it would break the ice. I, my fear is, or, or my feeling is that with Drag Race being mainstream on VH1, it's been on Logo. Um, we see it all over the place. It's on the cover of magazines in the middle of people's homes. Um, the fear is maybe the advertisers. Maybe advertisers won't want to do that when they realize now that people have just gotten used to the drag, now the advertisers who are sitting, you know, suits and ties somewhere going, oh, how are we going to explain this one? And so once they say that, then maybe the show loses its platform altogether. And mm. so I think there is that, that that's probably being considered somewhere. I could be totally wrong, but I do think that for a, a world that is barely understanding what drag is, it's the, there's a lot of people that are very limited and have a hard time understanding the simplicity, the real simplicity of what it is, uh, the understanding of trans, gay, bisexual, poly, like all these different things. It's not that hard to understand for us, but they, people, and I, I'm tired of hearing people go, well, I was raised a certain way. Well, yeah, but now you're raised. And now you know better, and now you can make your decision. So hiding behind, I was raised this way, it, that, doesn't, that doesn't work for me. Agreed.